Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem path queries taken from Code Forces Div 3 round 582G. Okay, so the problem was rated 1800 and we are going to solve this problem using I mean uh, DSU of course. So the problem statement is quite simple. You are given M queries in each query. You are of course given a tree with N nodes and you are given M queries. Okay, in, in ith query you will be given an integer QI. Okay, and you have to calculate the number of vertices, pair of vertices UV such that uh, the simple path between them does not contain any edge with weight greater than QI. Okay, so of course the tree is weighted tree, right? So it may be uh, difficult to understand using that example only. So I mean using the uh, of course words only. So here is an example to, for your better understanding. So we have seven nodes and five queries. These are the five queries, okay? And uh, since we have seven nodes, so we will have six edges, right? So these are the six edges, A and B and their weight, okay? So one is connected to two with weight one and so on. So I have created the graph, okay? Now, uh, let's have a look at the fifth query, which says, tell me all the pairs such that the path between them does not contain any uh, weight greater than one, okay? So here you see the answer is three. That means there are three pairs. So if you see one, two, one, four, and two, four are those three pairs. You see one, four, for example, has this path. Okay. And which contains two edges, of course, and both of them have a uh, weight one and none of them is having weight greater than one. Right. So that, uh, that is a valid path. One, two is valid and two, four is also valid. So we have three uh three pairs right three such pairs which are valid for qi is equals to one now if you consider this example uh pair one three this is invalid because the simple path between one to three is this one to two two to three and this edge contains uh, a weight which is greater than qi and that's why that is an invalid so basically find the number of pairs such that the uh, the simple path between them uh, does not contain any edge which is having weight greater than QI itself, right? That is the problem statement. So let's see how we'll solve this problem. Hopefully the problem statement is clear to you. Now the hint. So just ask yourself this question. So pairs which are valid for QI is equals to 2, okay? Are they also valid for QI is equals to 3? Just think about it, okay? And there is one more hint for you this try utilizing dsu that is disjoint set union if you uh, disjoint data set or disjoint set union so uh so if you have no idea about dsu i have a whole playlist of uh, dsu where i've taught that and everything required uh, along with dsu okay so i'll be putting the link of that playlist in the description of the video so you can go ahead and learn dsu as well so yeah these are two hints for you try to come up with a solution with these two hints i mean try to at least formulate some type of solution yourself okay and now ever felt trapped in something that doesn't align with you but you still gotta do it on a daily basis for example your job does it cost you your focus, opportunities, productivity, and happiness? If you nodded your head, you are surely not alone. If you are finding it difficult to juggle between your job and your personal life, it's a sign of being trapped in a job that you no longer enjoy. What can you do? Well, what do you do when you don't like a movie or a song or a stand-up comedian? You grab the remote and change it, right? So why don't you do the same with your company? Grab the opportunity with Relevel by an academy and take the hiring ball in your court. Attempt the re-level test free of cost. Prove your worth, secure your interview opportunity with the top companies in India like Cred, Grow, Upgrad, Misho, Koo, Yellow.ai and many more. There is no degree requirement for this. For non-tech jobs, you will get minimum 4 LPA and for tech jobs, you will get at least 6 LPA job. Okay, An experienced candidate will get up to 50% hike. Wondering what is special about re-level test compared to other recruitment processes? Well, with Relevel, you are skipping the competition for jobs in the most sought-after companies, sparing yourself innumerable rejection and almost every other hurdle between you and your dream job. Still unsure about taking Relevel test? Well, find all the people who took their Relevel test with their Relevel achievers Twitter handle and see for yourself. So let me show you how you can book a free slot for Relevel test. So click in the link provided in the description of the video and click Get Hired. Select the type of job you want to do, for example, backend development. Click select and then book your free slot. Select the tech stack. Suppose I want to work with Python. Continue. 
and then select the date so i'm going with 30 october and next after that okay uh of course if you are filling this for the first time you have to fill in some uh details extra details okay so fill that and then uh enter all of the important details and then save and here you go your slot is booked go ahead and book your slots today now let's head back to our lecture so the answer of this question is actually yes all of the pairs which are valid for q q i is equals to 2 will be valid for q i is equals to 3 or more than 2 right any q i which is greater than 2 right because all the pairs so basically the pairs which are valid for q i is equals to 2 are those pairs such that the simple path between them does not contain any edge which is having weight greater than 2 so they are valid for q i is equals to 2 right those will be also valid for q i is equals to 3 this only uh, uh, says that okay all of the pair which are having uh, uh the path between them does not contain any edge which is having weight greater than three right so having uh weights equal to two is fine for us so any pair which is valid for qi is equals to t two will be valid for qi is equals to three or more than that as well so can you guess the order in which we should try to answer queries you might have guessed the order we will try to find the answer from lower qis to higher qis basically we are going to sort qis in increasing order and we'll be solving start solving from the lowest one because if i find answer for qis equals to 2 that answer i can utilize to form answer qis equals to 3 right and 4 and 5 right so that's why what we are going to do so this was the input problem and let me sh uh, show you how we are going to solve this so first of all this was the input this is the edge set and this is the query set so what i'm going to do I'm going to sort the edge set based on the weight. Here you can see I've sorted all of them based on their weight. And also the query set I've uh, sorted uh, also on based on the set. And along with that, I've stored their indices also. Position, I should say. I have also saved their position. So one was appearing at position five. So first element in the pair is actually QI itself. And the second is their position because finally we have to print solution of this query, even though we are processing this query first, but this is actually the fifth query. So we have to print the answer of this query at the fifth position, right? That's why we need to have their position. So what I've done, I've sorted the edges based on the weight. I've sorted the queries based on the weight. And also along with the queries, I've saved their position because after sorting, they can, uh, the positions of the Query, QIs can change right now I'll be using two variables of course result array right where I'll be storing the result of the queries and finally after processing all of the queries I'll be printing from result array of course and count variable this will keep count of how many valid pairs I have found till now okay as I've told you, of course, we are going to use DSU, right? Disjoint data sets. So what we are going to do, we are, uh, these are all of, the, we will initialize all of the sets as a single set, right? So all of, none of them are actually connected, right? I've said basically their parent to be minus one or, and their rank to be one. We are going to use their rank because that will be useful. And whenever we are going to add some edge, it will basically uh, merge two different disjoint sets, right? So that's why. Uh, I have not added any edge yet. So we are going to process queries. Okay. So this will represent which query we are currently processing and this will represent which is the next edge that will be added. Okay. So now the first query that we are going to process is 1.5. That means with weight 1. QI is equals to 1 basically. So uh, when I'm processing this query, I will keep adding all of the edges where uh, W is less than equals to QI. Okay. So now I'm currently at this position. So of course, W is smaller than QI, so I can add this edge. Okay. So now one two, I'll add one two. When you are going to merge one two, size of this connected component is one. Size of this connected component is one. So one times one is one. So you will increment count by one. And now add the edge between these two. Basically merge these two disjoint sets. Okay. Now basically what has happened? We have added this edge. And how many path do we have at this point? whatever path we will have at certain point all of those will be actually valid because we are adding only those edges which are actually valid right so when i'm processing qi is equals to one i will not add any edge which is greater than one 
so all of the path that will exist at this moment is actually a valid path so how many path do we have only one path right from one to two or two to one doesn't matter that's why count is equals to one now uh, of course increment this so now we are at this edge we will check whether we can add this edge or not okay so of course w is less than equals to qi so we will add this edge also now what it says connect two and four connect two and four so this connected component is having two elements this connected component is having only one element two times one is two so add two into the count and finally add this edge also and also of course increment the pointer now what is happening uh, what has happened here we have added this edge because of that we we have found two new path why see this connected component is having two elements and this is having only one so what we can do is that we can find a path from here to here and from here to here right that's why we are having two new path okay so basically you are finding pair uv right so you can pick two different u's from here and one v from here so two times one is two so that many different configuration you can make because of adding this edge basically you have found uh, two different new path and that's why we have added two here so it has become three now we are here okay can we add this edge the answer is no so we will stop and finally what we will do for this query we have completed our pre-processing and what, uh, this is the solution of that query so at position five which you can find here just add count okay so basically answer of the first query is three okay because these are the at max edges that you can add uh, before any other edge actually violates the condition for qi is equals to one and that's why we will stop here and this tells you the total number of current path available in our current uh, situation of the graph okay i should say three and there are three different path one two one four two four and that is your result for the first query now I'll increment the query now we will process this query now again we'll start the while loop keep on adding edges as long as w is less than equals to qi qi at this time is 2 right so again let's add those edges now that we know the procedure let's uh, move faster okay so can i add uh, so currently we are processing this query so can i add this edge the answer is yes because w is less than equals to qi so i'm going to add these two right and size of this connected component is three size of this connected component is one three times one is three so i'll add three in the count and also i'll add this edge after that i'll move on to the next edge i'll check whether i can add this the answer is yes because w is less than equals to qi so i'll add this edge also so connect these two size of both of them is one one times one is one so add one into the count okay and also merge these two after that i'm here can i add this edge the answer is no because now w is not less than equals to qi so these are the only edges that you can add before other edges starts to violate the condition for second query right so what is the count of the total number of path available that is seven right so in this position at position two of the query just save count right now in uh, we will process the next query which is three three okay so again we'll keep on adding edges as long as we can so can i add this as the answer is yes so connect three and two so we have to connect these two size of this connected component is four so uh, size of this connected component is two four times two is eight so add eight here and also merge these two we will move on to the next edge can i add this the answer is no so this is the answer of the third query position of third query is of course i mean this was position of third query is three so add three we'll store count that will be 15 now we'll process to the uh, we'll move on to the next query which is 4 4 can i add this edge answer is yes uh, basically add 7 uh, basically merge 7 and 5 7 and 5 size of this connected company is 6 size of this connected company is 1 6 times 1 is 6 so add 6 now we have processed this one so move next now our pointer goes out of the range of number of edges right so we cannot add anything we cannot add anything that means we have found the answer of this so at position 4 we will save 21 again we will mo move on to the next query can i add uh, edges the answer is no can i add basically more edges the answer is no because we have already uh, added all of the edges that we can so what we'll do we can't add uh, add anything so we'll what we do we go to this position one and save count so 21 so you see 21 7 15 21 3 is the answer of this test case right and this is how you will solve this problem so if i show you the code how am i solving this problem of course i have uh, defined a structure edge which have three fields a b and w 
एल एल इज लॉन्ग लॉन्ग ओके बेसिकली सिक्सटी फोर बिट इंटीजर सो ए बी एन डब्ल्यू दिस इज माई एज सो आई हैव एन एरे ऑफ एज ऑफ साइज टू इंटू टेंस फॉर फाइव बिकॉज दैट मैनी एजेस वी कैन हैव ओके एंड देन वी हैव आई हैव एन एरे ऑफ पेयर बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट यू माई हैव गैस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस क्वेरीज ओके एंड फाइनली रिजल्ट एरे ओके एंड देन रैंक एंड पेरेंट दिस यू ऑलरेडी नो बिकॉज ऑफ डिस जॉइंट डेटा सेट राइट सो हियर फाइंड ऑपरेशन आई एम यूजिंग यूनियन पाथ कंप्रेशन एंड द मर्ज ऑपरेशन ओके इन साइड द मर्ज ऑपरेशन दिस इज द वन दैट विल रिटर्न यू द रिजल्ट दैट वी आर एडिंग अगेन एंड अगेन इन काउंट ओके वैन वी आर गोइंग टू मर्ज दिस कनेक्टेड कंपोनेंट एंड दिस कनेक्टेड कंपोनेंट वी हैव टू एड देयर साइज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ देयर साइज राइट एंड दिस मर्ज फंक्शन इज एक्चुअली रिटर्निंग दैट यू थी रैंक ऑफ ए rank of b product of that is being result uh, returned right i'm not using union by rank here by the way so yeah so this is find and merge function you already should be aware of this because of dsu and uh, what is the main function doing nothing reading the edge okay and after that initializing the rank of the ith node and parent of the ith node right because this loop is running till n minus 1 i have to initialize the nth one outside the for for loop after that i am sorting all of the edges right passing this comparator function here you see basically i am sorting them by their weights right in increasing order after that reading all of the queries where query is being uh, weight qi is being stored at the first position in the uh, pair and second position is storing its position only right after that i am sorting that query array also after that you remember we initialize count with zero so count is equals to zero and index is basically this this pointer okay this is index we are going through all of the queries one by one each time taking out w of the current query and then while index is less than n because that many uh edges we have to add and index dot w should be less than equals to the w of the current query right if that is happening uh, i have to merge these two uh basically a and b of the current edge and uh, that will return me the the number the count that we have to increment our count by after that of course you will increment index and after that uh, update the result with count right and finally run a loop for all the queries and print the result as simple as that and of course this is a, a, a solution which gets ac so i'll be providing this solution in the description of the video so you can use it as reference so yeah this is how you solve this problem if you have any doubt query suggestion or anything you can post it down in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you